money, you know, and said you two. Honestly, didn't you enjoy it? What do you think? Hello and welcome to Mad. I am Rob. This is Candy, Hi. and this is Sid. I don't understand why people get scared of monsters. I think we should be friendly with them. Friendship with monsters? But how? By making something related to monsters and by talking about them, so that no one ever gets scared of monsters. And today, together with our lucky mad fans, we will make scary monster fingers and then a private monster island. After that, we'll see a monster dance and make a monster who will be knocking on our door. And in the big picture, we have someone coming to meet us. And yes, in the Western countries, there is a very popular festival related to monsters, which is called. Uh huh. I won't tell you now. If you want to know the name, then keep watching. Mad. Mad. Today in our studio, we have with us two mad fans, Anish and Anuj. Say hi to your friends. Hi. And with us today, both of them will make some things related to the monster theme. So, are you guys ready? Yes. So, you guys want to make a monster hand, scary fingers? Yes. To make this, you will need. Only paper. You can take any paper you want. It can be thin chart paper, any kind of handmade paper, or this type of a textured paper. But remember, the paper has to be square in shape. First, we will half it like this. We have got the center here. Okay. Now we will fold it like this from the center line. Fold the edges very nicely. Okay. Take this edge right up to the center, like this. Now fold this into half again. Just the way we used to make rockets in school. Yes. Now we will fold it from here. When folding it, you have to be careful to see that once it is folded, the other edge comes up to this point, like this. The more it comes out, the better it will be, so that you can fold it here. Make the tip a little more pointed. Put your finger inside, and in this way, we will put it on, and your monster finger is ready. I will show you some which I have already made in advance. How do they look? Yeah, they look quite scary. But where are the nails? If you want nails, we will paint the nails. I have taken textured paper so that the texture of our fingers or the surface looks just like the monster. Is this good enough? Yeah. You can scare your friends at the picnic. In fact, I have a gift for you. You can wear them. Oh, wow, nice. And this one's for you. If you want, you can paint on these hands, or you can put some stickers on them, or stick something else also, or you can draw on them. So, did you enjoy? Yes. Okay, say bye to your friends. Bye. Put a coat of water on handmade paper or cartridge paper. Put drops of photo ink on it. Because it is wet, the color will spread and the shapes will emerge. In these shapes, you will see monsters. Draw their outlines, and your monster image is ready. Long, long time ago, there was a selfish giant who used to live alone in a very big castle. The castle was surrounded by a really beautiful and big garden. Hmm. Children wanted to play in the garden, but the giant would not let them play. No one was allowed there. That's really mean. That's not fair. If I was one of the kids, then、um, what would I do? Yes, I would make my own private monster island where I would have my own den. And the sea all around it. I would let all the children play there. Well, that's not a bad idea. What do you say? So come, let's make a private monster island. To make the monster island, we will need plywood, 
कार्डबोर्ड न्यूज पेपर टिश्यू पेपर व्हाइट ग्लू कॉर्न फ्लावर स्पॉन्ज पेंट्स ब्रशेज पेंसिल्स मार्कर्स राउंड टिप सेफ्टी सिजर्स मास्किंग टेप डबल साइडेड टेप एंड सैंड फॉर द मॉन्स्टर आइलैंड वी विल फर्स्ट टेक अ पीस ऑफ कार्डबोर्ड लाइक दिस एंड ऑन इट वी विल मेक द शेप ऑफ द डेन व्हिच वी हैव डिसाइडेड वी वांट टू मेक like i am making the shape of a wolf here so our shape is now ready we will cut it with a safety scissor so we have cut the shape of our wolf and made it ready here but we want to make it a 3d structure so we need to make one more side i have already traced and cut out another shape we will place it here like this and fill the remaining area like this and our whole 3d structure will be ready you can give it a coat of an acrylic color so that it gets additional strength and then stick it on a piece of plywood i have made a white base coat on this the positioning of your monster island is very important for the base i am using newspaper of which i am making small balls like this this will give us the shape of our island we will place it here in the middle so that it doesn't get stuck and then put tape on it and once the structure is ready here then i will continue to stick these newspaper balls with glue and make the remaining part of the island in this way you can stick the newspaper according to the size of the island you want to make now to first clean and then fill up the remaining area we will use paper mache so first we will take tissue paper and shred it into small small pieces like this and then put a mixture of glue and water in it four parts of glue and one part water now mix it well then put some corn flour or arrowroot powder but just a little bit and our paste is ready now to fill up the area we will continue to fill this place with paste like this and cover the entire area with paper mache after it is dry it will look something like this now this is ready to be colored before coloring the island i will color the area around it i mean the sea or the ocean i am using acrylic colors for this our water is now ready now we will color the den i will first color the edges with a brush and the rest of the area with a sponge to show the jungle around the den i have applied a flat green coat and for the basic structure of the den i will use maroon on top of it just dab some green color like this and after the whole thing is colored it will look something like this to give the effect of water we will use cling wrap or food wrap fold it into a wave pattern like this and for effect we will put some sand all around it for a little more effect i have made a few things like huts these i have made with corrugated paper sheet and ballpoint refill we will place these here and a watch tower which i have made from ice cream sticks and this little ship which i have made from corrugated sheet i am placing it like this so that it looks as if it has crashed into the island over here in this way you can make other things also in place of a wolf you can make a skull or even a face of a monster or you can even make a monster hand to make the monster island first make the shape of your den on a piece of cardboard and then for a 3d structure take two pieces and stick them on plywood to give it the support use some newspaper balls and these newspaper balls will also be used to fill the remaining part of your island which is actually the hilly surface to give this hilly surface a good texture and to bind it put a coat of paper mache after the coat dries up color it with the color of your choice to get the effect of water you can use cling wrap and all around the island to give a good effect you can use some sand if you want you can prop it up with some small interesting things and your monster island is ready In the west there's a festival related to monsters which is celebrated every year on the 31st of October and the name of the festival is uh I'll not tell you right now you keep thinking till then we'll take a short little break after the break we'll tell you the name of the festival after which we'll enjoy a monster dance make a door knocker and in the big picture someone is coming to meet us so see you after the break The 
frightening monsters that we see in monster movies are as scary and suspenseful as the background music of the film. Just imagine a giant monster without any background music. There would be no fun, isn't it? So come let's see what sort of music Sid has created for these little monsters. Oh wow, Sid has become a monster himself. Trick or treat! The monster festival which we were talking about has small children dressing up like monsters and going knocking at the doors of their neighbours. And then they ask, trick or treat! And in return they get lots of cookies and treats. Must be so much fun. Hmm, but knocking on so many doors would also be tiring their hands. So why don't we make a door knocker related to the monster theme? which not only knocks doors, but also brings a smile on the faces of those who use it. So come let's make a monster door knocker. To make this we will need mount board, paper glasses, toothpaste box, rivets, marbles, strong thread, styrofoam plate, glue, pencil, pen for drawing, round tip safety scissors, brushes and colours. First we will mark the paper glass at the point where it needs to be cut. This is a second cup and make a line on this also. But this line is not straight, it is a little wavy, a little curved and we will cut the glass into two halves like this. When the wavy one is cut, it will become the lower jaw and the one which is cut straight will be the upper jaw. We will join it with a rivet, let us mark it first. You can make holes with a ballpoint pen or a sharpened pencil and now in this we will put the rivets. Be very careful because these are very pointed and can hurt your hand. And we will spread the ends first so that it doesn't come out. And then fold it so that the hand is not hurt and the movement of the glass is not disturbed. Now we will take this extra piece which we had and stick it on the upper half like this. After that we will put a base coat on it. Now it will look like this. As you can see, if you move the jaw like this, it makes noise. But to enhance it a little more, we will put a marble on it. But remember, the marble must jut out a little bit. And in the lower jaw, I will take a small piece of thread and we will stick one end on the center of the thread, like this. This thread should be a little strong one. And now we will place the marble. We have to take out the thread and the marble through this like this. And stick it right in the center, like this. When the thread is pulled, it will make a noise like this. Now to fix this, we will make a base. I have got with me two pieces of mount board and we are going to use a toothpaste carton which we will stick here. So when it dries up, you will get a strong L-shaped structure here on which we will stick the head. And to hang it, we will take a piece of thread, prepare a loop and stick it behind like this with a tape. You can also apply a base coat to it. I have one ready with me and here comes our head. Before sticking the head, let us do some detailing. I am taking this chart paper and will make a cone out of it. Similarly with glue, you can fix the horns and now this L-shaped block of ours, we will stick the head on it. On this, you can apply a base coat too, after which it will look something like this. 
with a styrofoam plate, we will make the teeth and the spikes. And here the spikes are made and with the remaining pieces, we can make the teeth and then stick them like this. After sticking the spikes and the teeth, it begins to look like this. And over here, I have cut the styrofoam and colored it in a circle and made the eyes. Now we will paint it. And because this is a monster, you can use any color that you want. Remember to paint the monster's mouth from inside with red color. So that when it opens, it will look really dangerous. Now our monster door knocker is ready. In place of paint, if you want, you can also use a coat of tissue paper and your monster will look even more scary. In this way, you can make monsters heads of various shapes and types. Or if you want, you can make more than one monster head also. To make the monster door knocker, first take paper glasses. Cut one glass straight and the other in a curved shape. And join both the straight and the curved glass with a rivet so that both the pieces can move like this. The second half will become the extension of the head. Now stick all three of them and to make the noise louder, use a marble. We will attach a strong string to the marble of the lower jaw and when the string is pulled, the jaws will move and the marbles will make noise. To make the base, we will take pieces of mount board like this one and join them in an L shape and use a toothpaste box for support. For detailing, we can make horns with chart paper or use styrofoam to make its teeth, its eyes and spikes for it. Fit this on the door after coloring it, check it out and your monster door knocker is ready. So how is your friendship progressing with the monsters? Cool or chilling? And by now you must have guessed what the name of the festival is. No? Let me give you a clue. There's a special friendship between pumpkins and this festival. So you hunt for the answer and we'll prepare for what is still to come. After the break, someone is coming to meet us in the big picture. So see you after this break. Castles and big houses. Aren't these the places where monsters stay? No, not in reality, but in movies and stories they do, right? What if I tell you that today, in our studio, we have a monster with us? Actually, in our show today, we have made so many different monsters. But let us see how real our experience is going to be. Are you ready? Ketan Thank mm -hmm. you. 
थैंक यू गाइज थैंक्स केतन थैंक्स अनिल friends do you remember the name of the festival the name of the festival is halloween during halloween people take a pumpkin hollow it from the inside and make a scary face on the outside and then they light candles in the hollow and place them inside or outside their houses isn't it interesting today everything was very interesting creepy scary monster fingers monster island monster dance monster door knocker and in the big picture a 3d monster came to meet us okay now i have to go i am going to the viewers gallery where someone is waiting for me so i'll see you guys later bye, bye. we have already made friends with the monsters so now let's see what our friends have sent for us i have a letter here in which someone has made a cavity comic wow in the first one there is a boy the cavity is a mouth In the second it becomes a sun and in the third it becomes a red dot and here i have been sent some flowers and a girl who is saying is anyone at home there is a letter which reads my name is poonam vijay shinde i love pogo and mad every sunday i see the mad show thank you poonam thank you for your letter and your artwork you have made a cavity comic for us a very good attempt and friends the two important points of this show you made friends with the monster very good because there is no need to be scared of monsters and second yours and ours that is the mad friendship very necessarily needs to be kept alive so keep sending in your letters and your interesting artwork